soy latte, please. Sure, you want anything else, Bob? No, thanks. Okay, that was $3.99. This is for? Okay. Okay, your drink's ready. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. It's fine. It's just payback from when I spilled Red Bull on your design project in college. The dress looked better with the stains on it anyway. The professor didn't agree with you. Of course she didn't. The fabric was to design a classic white wedding dress. Not one with Red Bull. Spilled it all over it. I thought it was better with my contribution, but I'm not the fashion student. Or at least, wasn't at the time. Speaking of that, what are you doing now? Oh, I'm actually the CEO of my own business. It's called Favor. Really? That's amazing! I use Favor literally on a daily basis. For work, I, I always knew you would be big in the business. You used to talk about it all the time. Not all the time. Yes, all the time. Every time we would talk about the future, you always said that you were going to be a big suit and, and you were going to make a bunch of money for us all. Remember when we, we used to go and talk about what we were going to do after college? Uh, we would sit in your old rusty truck and, and just talk and talk about the rules we were going to break and the trouble we would get in and all the people we would meet and how many kids we would have. Ace. So what have you been up to since you moved to New York? A lot actually. I didn't end up getting the job after I finished my internship. But do you remember how I contacted Coach about an internship there? Well, they finally got back to me and they said they didn't do internships in the design and modeling side of the company but because I had already done an internship um, and they really loved my work they offered me a job and for the last five years since then I've been working and I've gotten four promotions and last year eventually I got promoted to the creative director of the company. Wow that sounds like everything you ever wanted. It really is. So I guess we both got everything we ever, ever wanted. Almost everything. Sorry? Oh, hey, sorry, do you mind if I take this? Go for it. Hey, sorry I ran into an old friend inside and we just started catching up. Yeah, just from college. Do you want to meet him? No, it's fine. I need to wash up before. Oh, would you? We were sitting at the table next to the window when you first walk in. Okay, see you in a minute. Is it okay if I introduce you to someone? I don't think I have a choice at this point, do I? Thought I'd ask. Angel, this is Blake Huang. He was a friend from the college I was telling you about the other day. Blake, this is Angel Grassi. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard many stories about you from this one. It's nice to meet you too. Angel and I met a few years ago at the fashion conference in Italy. He's actually from Italy, but moved to the US to study fashion when he was 17. That's amazing. So are the two of you colleagues? Not exactly. We work in the same company for two different sides of design. We've both been dating for two years. That too. That's interesting. Because we both travel so much and we're always working. It makes it easier to date someone with the same schedule. And it's much easier to spend time with each other. Well, I need to run. I have a business meeting to get to and I still need to change out of these clothes. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Just forget it. Well, it was really great seeing you. We should grab dinner some time to catch up. It was great to meet you, Blake. Good to meet you, too. Good luck in your meeting. It was really great seeing you. 